Please welcome Mr. Prada Gilic from Bosch as Azure Tech Lead. Uh, he will present to us Lead Lake Azure, the, an enterprise Bosch cloud data repository and how they use it to find, to make data available for their employees. Please welcome Mr. Predrag Ilic. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Thank you for staying focused on this Friday afternoon and of course choosing Bosch as a, let's say, topic. So, in front of Bosch company, I will represent Red Lake Azure solution with enterprise data lake and business satellites in focus. So, uh, very quick introduction from my side. My name is Predrag Ilic, currently on Azure tech lead position in Bosch. So, this is third, uh, let's say, season uh, with Bosch. I'm very proud to be part of this team. Uh, in a mile, in a meanwhile, just to mention that uh, my background is related to BI, data warehousing, and advanced analytics systems. And so far I have, let's say, around 15 years experience with systems of this type. So, let's jump into main topics that we are going to touch during this session. So, from agenda perspective, we will cover uh, five main topics today. So, the main, let's say, Topic is collecting data from various data sources within the company and to try to bring some new value to our final end users in order to innovate products, processes and the company at the end of the day. How we are going to do that? So we will have a few words about storing data according Red Lake zone model, then moving forward to explore and refine data using Azure Synapse Analytics and Azure Databricks. And I will mention several technologies that are we, that are we involving right now. And the final is idea, of course, is to consume that data and to get some insights from Power BI on the top of our solutions. Like addition, we will make a touch point with, let's say, our customers and explain how we distribute data to business satellites and, let's say, final consuming solutions within the company. So, let's have a quick discussion about what is our Red Lake Azure and what are the key principles behind our solutions. In the meanwhile, just for an icebreaker, I would like to ask you how many, let's say, data engineers we have sitting here. Okay, more than enough. Uh, data scientists, great. So great combination of people. I'm really excited to continue with the topic. So data analysts, please, great. And since this is data science conference, you expect the next, next question will be related how many AI engineers is present here, but Yes, thank you, but this is not the question. The question for Icebreaker is how many people sitting here ever, ever, and at least once have played one computer game? At least once. Yes, this is what I wanted to hear because I will involve some, let's say, superheroes during the session because our solutions are people-based, not only technology and business license. Okay, so from, let's say, definition perspective, what is Red Lake Azure? I have to explain that red, every time you see red, it stands for Robert Bosch Enterprise Data. After that, Lake, Azure, and other things are more than familiar to all of you. So, Red Lake Azure, is an enterprise Bosch cloud data repository that makes consolidated, refined data globally available to Bosch data analysts, data scientists, third-party software, cloud applications, and all other platforms involved to the game. Uh, I hope uh, some of you had opportunity to listen to our colleagues Miodrag and Naidan yesterday with their use case, and I will, let's say, touch that use case as well and explain how it could be implemented with Red Lake Azure strategy. So, let's quickly touch the key points of our solution. First of all, let's say from 
let's start from bottom to top approach, global reach and worldwide availability. So this is our goal that is already explained in definition. But separation of storage and compute and consumption based cost, let's say optimization, are the two things at the same metal in the opposite side. So we will talk about storage a little bit later and about compute power of cloud, let's say, solutions. At the end of the game, this is the main idea behind the solution, scalability and elasticity of our solutions. All that in order to support large portfolio of BI and analytics services and to cover different use cases with our, our company. So services that are provided from Azure are the key point here. Uh, five, ten years ago, we were talking about uh, data warehousing and just the data part of Azure solutions. Nowadays, we have over 300 active services that can support our solutions. For example, for data science, AI, and so on. So I'm looking again at Miodrag. We can talk about which services could be applied for ship, let's say, optimization tracking. Okay, so let's continue. Just a quick overview about position of our solution in Bosch ecosystem. I introduced the ecosystem term here because we are not talking about only data transition, data transformation, data workload, data, 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 but with process and business needs at the end of the day. So this is the physical place of Red Lake Azure in the main picture worldwide regarding Bosch, let's say, solutions. As you can see, in this key, let's say, point of the slide, there are several other components involved so far. This is just a first level of our architecture. We will touch it deeply a few minutes later. So, what we can do? We can enrich the data with any data source involved with the company. But so far, I have to mention that our solution is some kind of new star born in the system. We already have something on our on-prem systems, and it is called very similarly, just Red Lake, and it is based on-prem. So Red Lake ecosystem is collection. I had a discussion in the hall a few minutes before the presentation. So Red Lake ecosystem is at the first sight replication of SAP, let's say, data within entire company. While we are talking about data sizes here, this is already over 700 terabytes in the total. So this is just the main and first data source in the company. We are not talking about only data replication. The man uh, can ask, okay, what is the purpose of your solution? You are moving the data from source to source to source and moving it to the cloud, pushing up to the cloud. So this is not the idea behind. Red Lake Oracle already has, let's say, some kind of model and levels of data refinement. I will touch it in the next slide. So we are taking, uh, regarding different use cases and the business needs in our company, whether original data, refined data, already refined data in SAP, in Red Lake, on-prem, we can do additional transformation later on and of course enable data to be accessed from external platforms from our Red Lake Azure ecosystem or Red Lake on-prem systems. Just to clarify the things, you have external platform X, so it can stand for some kind of portal application that reads the data already refined on-premise. For example, let's say some kind of stock information on our portal, some kind of application used within the company, in our fabrics and so on, but this is not the only source that is touched within the company. So they are already enriching this system with other platforms involved to the game. And the next star was born with the idea to utilize all services with the Azure and to extend it 
with other services that are out of scope that left part of the picture to do next stage of let's say transformations and to use Azure services and other cloud services at the end of the day. So we have one, let's say, enterprise customer that uses, for example, combination of raw data from SAP, refined data that is refined already in Red Lake on-prem. They are combining the data with AWS data. So we have cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration here. All data will be hosted in central Azure data lake, let's say ecosystem, then you can play any game you want, forward to external platform, maybe to some kind of Power BI report, stock report and so on, or you can push the data forward to business specific customer needs. I will touch self-service systems and Red Lake business satellites during the next slides. Just wanted to give you a high level overview of our solution. So, and the interesting part here is that back, right back arrow. For example, we can provide a new value to the company, make some kind of advanced transformation, segmentation for businesses, for customer needs, anything you want, and write it back to core business. And enable our end applications and on-prem world to use it as well as, let's say, cloud technologies at the end of the day. Now we are switching to level two of our solution. And the idea behind this slide is to distinguish that blue and green part. So this is the only purpose of this slide. Later on, everything will be displayed in the detail. So the left part represented in blue is related to our connection to sources and to our central solution that I mentioned. The green part is reserved for customer side, for serving slide, side, sorry, and of course, data analytics, AI, data science, and all other things at the end of the day. As you can see, both stream data and batch processing are involved here to our Red Lake ecosystem. Since we are very, very limited with the time, today we will touch batch scenarios, but at the ending I will mention some things about combination with streaming data as well. So, distinguish between central and our customers' subscription is the key point here. So let's discuss about our key slide today, and I will take the most of the time here. So from technical perspective, since we have, let's say, 50% of data engineers involved, I think you will be familiar with architecture and you will be interested in it. And we will touch, of course, analytics, data science part, and everything as well. I will leverage the information according to public setting here. So, the main information here from business perspective, not from technical perspective, is that, let's say, zone model of our solutions. The first one is related to Red Lake Azure on-prem. This is the main source for our solutions, but don't forget all other types of sources. So they already have row zone, original data, harmonization, refinement, delivery, and so on. For example, we have refinement zone here. Customers can refine the data and provide segmentations, for example, and all other extended values from the data directly on on-prem. So our use case can be, okay, take that, make something new, and push the data to, let's say, final business satellites. We will talk about what business satellites are. We can pull raw data and then do some additional transformations regarding customer needs and demand. And of course, we can do refinement. We can do segmentations and everything needed from us. This is the reason uh, why I'm mentioning that ecosystem terminology, not only data flows and technical things involved to this slide. But okay, from technical perspective, 
I can say so far from networking point of view that we are using proxy for service, MS integration self-hosted runtimes for people interested in that part. And we are, let's say, switching to experts road approach to have, let's say, enterprise approach from networking and security perspective as well. But the central figure for this session is that blue zone on the slide. Okay, so let's involve some tools to the discussion. Of course, the I think one of the five most popular Azure tools is of course Azure Data Factory. We are doing all, let's say, data movement and transformations within Azure Data Factory. And then the central figure of our solution you can recall that I already mentioned distinguishment uh, 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 in combination, let's say, in storage and computing processing. So the main figure here is, is Data Lake Gen 2. Our system is file-based. And after that, we will do all necessary additional actions as needed, involving signups, data bricks, and so on. So a few words about that a minute or two later. Taking in account Azure Data Factory, I have to mention a few things here. If you can recall our, let's say, introduction, this is not only technology, this is people-based. We have a few very, let's say, nice people here involved in the game. They are sitting in the first row. So very real superheroes involved to the game. So from, let's say, Data Factory and Pipeline perspective, we have let's say pipeline man sitting here, which is expert for pipeline types and of course incremental types of our solution. Of course, we have, let's say, inframan here. Dushan, thank you for implementing entire architecture from CI-CD, let's say, perspective and infrastructure as code. So we have, you can see DevOps approach here we have D, Q, and P environments. Everything that is, let's say, developed in primary environment will be just rolled out to Q and prod. Because of that, we have also DevOps men sitting here. And since this is data science conference, I have to mention that it is not about only data transformations. You can see the LELT processes and so on. We have some Python code here involved to the game, so we have snake man here, snake sna stands for Python, okay? So we have some kind, of, you can see metadata information here, so this is very important from entire picture point of view. So what we are doing, not building, let's say, pipeline for each and new scenario we meet. So our pipeline man implemented some parameterized things and we need to collect metadata and similar things in our data catalogs and so on. So this small SQL database represents that approach that is already materialized here. After that, we have customer side taking Databricks, Azure Synapse Analytics, Power BI, and everything else involved to that. I already mentioned that we push our data to business satellites and the end of the day. The main idea behind this is, let's say, data autonomy, data privacy at our customer side, and everything else that they need to implement further. And of course, cost distinguished. They will pay for services they are using. Of course, in the meanwhile, I have to mention that we use a bunch of, uh, let's say, file types, and the primary type is, of course, parquet for massive parallel loads at the end of the day. So a few words about data consumption patterns, what we are doing, one-time show for self-services scenarios, data replication, you already see, we push, pull the data, communicate between, let's say, entities in our system, and of course, I have already mentioned, file access, customer can take file, can read file, can ask us, to move that to their signups, whatever needed. We have SQL access and of course programmatic access. All external platforms can consume our data using APIs. And I have one centralized slide that will show everything that is mentioned. And as you can see, it is called Red Mesh Ecosystem in Bosch. This small part here, I'm taking into account the time as well, Azure, 
is here. So this is the solution I was talking about. But this is the big picture of our Bosch ecosystem, data mesh. You can see all other platforms involved to the game. You can see all customer-related domains, on-prem and, let's say, cloud-based. Automotive, XBI, X is for any BI, FBI, financial BI, marketing BI, and so on. CCMDP, our Chinese colleagues implemented very powerful chat bot on the top of our data, consuming the various data from cloud platforms, from big data streams, from SAP, and that chat bot is, let's say, teached to say and answer all questions uh, with application that is implemented on the top of that. I have already mentioned uh, the topic that Miodrag and Naidan addressed yesterday. So their next intention is to move their data to this kind of platform to utilize Azure services from scaling and cost perspective and get some magic from Python codes. This is all supported from this architecture. At the end of the day, I have to mention that we already introduced three minutes, more than enough, Tableau, SAP Analytics, Power BI and Grafana. This is from front-end perspective. But what is the idea behind the scene? We want to establish data ownership to have end-to-end -end picture about all data within the system. So if you imagine the sand clocks and watch, and <laughs> how do you want to say? So we are in the middle of that. We are taking everything. We are distributing anything needed. So. We have all customers involved here implementing data catalog to know the, let's say, origin and information about our data. And of course, to enable self-service platform, federated government, but domain ownership of our data. At the end of the day, we want to have data as a product, data as a service. And you will show one minute, pick it up. Yes, okay, so. For end of this topic, I want to mention, you see, the entire picture is called Red Mesh. So this is not only solution, this is ecosystem, this is a journey that stands for last, Samir, correct me if I'm wrong, three to five years, and we are pushing forward. In order to transform that last letter, sometimes the years are needed to have one letter transformed from data mess to data mesh, and I think we are all on the right way. Five seconds left. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions? Can you wait for the mic so we can record it? <laughs> so this is a promise that we have your support to transfer our project to the Asia. <laughs> this is not instructed question, <laughs> but no, 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 this is improvised. I have to mention that we have end-to-end -end process of data onboarding, let's say established within the company with let's say uh, tech requests and so on. You so you can apply for data needed for storage needed, and for, let's say, type of service that will be implemented here. And we will support you, and let's say, enable it as a business satellite. So this is the end of the game here. Anything else? Seems it is all clear or nothing is clear? Well, if you have <laughs> any other questions, you can always find Mr. Frederick uh, on a coffee break, which is following this. And it's going to last until 4.45 p.m. And then after that, we continue with this track. Thank you very much. Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs>